So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Monday, so it's time for another parkour video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can extract links or hyperlinks from websites using Power BI Parkway. Okay, so I show you this report on Friday. If you've seen the Dark Friday's videos, this is basically a report that I extracted all the DAX functions from the Microsoft Reference Guide and I extracted all functions from DAX Writers Glossary is this one. And then I gave you, I put it together and I give you a guide so you could actually see both the official reference and the DAX Writers reference so you can find information about those functions easily. Okay, so how did I scrape my website? Because as you can see, I'm going to show you now. We're going to copy that, open a new Power BI file, and I'm going to show you how I scraped and how I tried to scrape, but you know, to actually get URLs is not as straightforward as it looks. So we're going to get data. We're going to use the web connector in there, connect. And we paste the URL to the Kerbal website. And now we're going to try to extract the information. You know, I wanted two things, the function, name and the link to the function. So you can just click there, go and grab it. With these, you're not going to get anything in here. If you go to web view, you see that, okay, we can see the website. We need to use our table using examples. I have a few videos on that. It is a fantastic function. It is absolutely amazing. Try it. This is basically how it works if you haven't seen it before. So you have here the a preview of the website so you can actually see what you're doing. And here it basically is asking you, okay, what do you want? And you just have to give them clues as what information you want to extract from our website. In this case, I want to have the old function. And then I want to have the next one, which is all except. All except, you see, you have them in order. And then this is a, hey, do you want all the functions to start with A? Mm, almost, no. I want all the functions, so I need to continue feeding this algorithm so it understands what I want. And after I did go with the C, then it says, oh, you want all. Yeah. Okay, then I thought, okay, can I get the URL from this? Not really. Uh, what I did it was like very, very quickly. I said, okay, I have all and not all except. If I feed that algorithm with that, Will it give me? And when it starts to give you that, you know, it's like not finding anything. You can still try to feed it with more information. More often than not, where I find is once you start saying that, it just means I'm not going to find it. So we can we can remove that column afterwards. So click OK. Transform data. This is an improvement they've made before. If you had that, it will give you an error. It won't load, but now it loads. And I'm going to show you. It loads, but it just gives you a blank column because you couldn't find anything, basically. You see it here. And then if you go here to extract table from HTML, you can see both columns. So what we are going to do now is replace this code to a code that actually extracts URLs. And I Google it. And the wonderful Chris Webb show up to the rescue. Thank you, my darling. This is wonderful. He has a blog post where he says, hey, do you want to get URLs from a web website? Do this. Thank you. Thank you. So if we go in here. We copy that. Go back to Power Query. Delete that and put that one. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. The, the column is going to be called linked. Here you can have column two or herbal link or whatever you want. So whatever name you put in here is what you will see as a column name. Herbal link, for example. And then this part is the magical one that goes and grabs the URLs from my website. How cool is that? So now change type is going to break because we change the name of the column. And then here we have it, close and apply. You pump 
both the column names and the URLs. And I'm guessing that you can download most of the URLs on any website with that little piece of code. Thank you, Chris. It's fantastic. Now, I'm going to show you two more things in case you don't know. If you go here for a link to display as link, you have to go here to modeling. You don't need to go to the data tab anymore. I don't know why I always do it. You need to go to modeling. Oh, unresponsive. Come on, baby. You need to go to modeling and then web URL. Okay. And now you have here the function and here you'll have the link with the actual hyperlink. Otherwise you just get the text. And if you don't want the text, you just want to have a, an icon, you go to values and then turn this on and then you'll get that link. Okay. So thank you, Chris. Thank you. This saved me a lot of work. So now you know how to do it too. Link down below to Chris post link down below to this uh, DAX functions file and I'll see you again on Wednesday with another cool trick. Bye.